Hello everyone, today we will show you a few things to keep in mind when using the commissioning assistance for commissioning and configuring a SMA EV charger. For your safety, please always observe all safety information in the manuals for each individual product. The commissioning assistant makes commissioning quick and easy. Please note that the process can only be carried out once. You will find more information on using the commissioning assistant in the tech tip on commissioning SMA EV charger 7.4-22 by clicking on the link in the info box. Parameters may be changed subsequently via the parameter settings. You can find these on the user interface of the SMA EV charger once you have selected the device under configuration, parameters or configuration, device configuration. It is particularly important that you set the nominal current of the point of interconnection parameter correctly to ensure that the power outrage protection is controlled correctly. To ensure that the supply line to the SMA EP charger is not overloaded, the parameter AC current restriction must also be set. If the layout allows for single phase charging of the device with 7.4 kW, it is also possible when the charging power is restricted to 11 kW. For more information on settings, click the info buttons for the individual power meters. If the SMA EV charger is being used in conjunction with the SMA Home Manager 2.0, there are important settings that must be configured for load control. The optional energy requirement settings are particularly important for use of the charge with PV surplus option. The things you need to bear in mind when configuring the settings are explained in the SMA EV charger 7.4-22 Sunny Portal Registration video. Using the SMA EV charger in conjunction with the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 provides a wide range of options for smart energy management. It is also possible to use the SMA EV charger without the Sunny Home Manager 2.0. To do this, deselect the operation with grid connection point meter option when setting up the system. In this case, only boost charging mode can be used. Make sure that the switch on the SMA EV charger remains switched to boost charge in this case. If you are using the SMA EV charger with the Sunny Home Manager 2.0, you can choose between three charging modes. The SMA EV charger prioritizes the charging of your vehicle differently depending on the charging mode you have set. In boost charging mode, your vehicle is immediately charged with the maximum available power. There is no optimization with regard to electricity costs and the use of PV energy. This is equivalent to the Sunny Home Manager 2.0's necessary load prioritization option. You also have two smart charging modes available. Use the rotary switch on the device to switch between boost charging and smart charging. Use the SMA Energy app to switch between the two smart charging modes charge with PV surplus and charge with specified target. In charge with PV surplus mode, your vehicle is charged with excess PV energy that would otherwise be feed into the utility grid or cut off. This is equivalent to the Sunny Home Manager 2.0's optional load setting. In charge with specified target mode, the SMA EV charger is operated as a necessary load with as much surplus PV energy as possible. By entering a departure time and an amount of energy to be charged in the SMA Energy app, the Sunny Home Manager intelligently plans the charging process. Along with these case settings in this video, we would also like to tell you about the SMA EV Charger's new functions. From firmware version 1.02.R, you will have functions for multi-EV charger operation, charging lock and setting the brightness of the LEDs. The multi-EV charger operation function allows you to connect up three SMA EV chargers, mixed systems with single phase charging stations and three phase charging stations are possible. 
In multi-EV charger operation mode, all charging stations must be connected to the utility grid on a rolling basis. The Sunny Home Manager provides the charging stations with information on the number of active charging stations every minute. In multi-EV charger operation mode, if multiple charging stations are charging a vehicle and there is a two-phase charging vehicle among the vehicles, this vehicle is limited to single-phase charging for symmetry reasons. Each SMA EV charger can be controlled individually through the SMA Energy app. In multi-EV charger mode, the maximum charging current is restricted to ensure overload protection. The charging current per charging station can be determined by dividing the maximum charging current by the number of active charging stations. In the example, you can see that the charging current is restricted when there is a nominal current of 35 ampere at the point of interconnection. To protect the charging station from an otherized access, you can configure the settings so that the SMA EV charger has to be released via the energy app before every charge. To do this, activate the load release via app field in the load settings section on the user interface under configuration device configuration. Once the vehicle has been charged, the SMA EV charger is automatically locked again. When the green LED on the SMA EV charger is pulsating or glowing continuously, this indicates that charging is in progress. To set the brightness of the LEDs, log into the user interface, select configuration parameters and set the brightness of the LEDs parameter in the device parameter group to the desired level. Thank you for watching this video on frequently asked questions about how to commission the SMA EV charger. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it could help you with your questions. If not, feel free to leave a comment or watch our video Information on how to commission the SMA EV charger part 1. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share. And if you would like to see similar videos about SMA products, please subscribe to our channel.